Okay, so how is uh, the carbon atom that's got the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 able to make four bonds? Explain. No, there are no electrons in the third energy level for carbon atom in ground state. So instead of having the three orbitals in the 2p above the one orbital in the 2s, they hybridize, meaning they put them all on the same level, giving them the same amount of energy. And then the four electrons are distributed via Hund's rule across all four orbitals. And so now the carbon can make four bonds. Who came up with this? Linus, this is what he won his first Nobel Prize for. Um, why Legos? Um, lots of shapes. And they can make four bonds, which is a lot. Um, what about organic chemistry makes it organic? Carbon. That's not enough. Carbon-based? No. Carbon-based? Because carbon with a plus four charge has how many available electrons? zero useful electrons. Those two electrons that it has left can't do anything. So you have to have at least <coughs> one electron that can do something, and so you'd need to have carbon plus three. Then at least there'd be one electron that could do something. The electron configuration for this ion is 1s2, which is whose electron configuration? helium's electron configuration, and helium doesn't react with anything ever, period. So that carbon with a plus four, <coughs> not available to do stuff. So what about this question about radioactive organic tomatoes? All tomatoes are radioactive, and all tomatoes are organic, as far as a chemist is concerned. Not a farmer, maybe not a consumer, but as far as chemists are concerned, they would say that they're all, and that they're all organic. Um, vital force. What's that vital force theory? Um, any, not organic, any molecule made inside a living organism um, cannot be made outside one.
And how is it disproved? <laughs> Urea. Urea was made and identified by Wohler. And then he went on a whirlwind tour showing everybody that you could make stuff that's made inside of organisms. Draw a structure for an organic molecule that has the root name pent and the suffix ain. Hmm. I'm going to be lazy about it, but there we go. And non and ain. So non means nine, so we need nard carbons and Pent means five, so we need five carbons. And then everything else that is there would be a hydrogen. Are we good with that? Mm -hmm. All right.